honestly, that's about a year ago, uh, that morning, uh, I just, I, I woke up to like a, around that time, I woke up to a, a Instagram notification. Somebody uh, was tripping, like, Beagle, man, uh, on the Green Thumb show, man, uh, booze on there, they shouted you out, man. You got to try to get on that show, see what's up, man. And uh, I talked to Boo, like, not long after that on the phone, and it was actually the last conversation that I ever had with Boo. It was about a year ago, and she was talking about uh, being on the show and shit, and Dr. Green Thumb. Yeah. She's like, yeah, you got to try to get on there. And uh, I said, I'm like, hey, you mentioned that you're like, hey, you know Beagle, right? And, and Be Real was like, like, yeah. And I was like, man, that I, I didn't know like if Be Real had heard of me or anything like that. And she said, she's like, I don't think he, he's one to cap. <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, all right, that's cool, man. Let's see. But anyway, it was cool. It's almost uh, Boo's last kind of uh, request I have with her was do this show, or be on the show. Yeah, man. Oh, that's dope. dope. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Boo was. I met Boo like uh, the first time in like '09. Uh, it was random as fuck how I met Boo. It was crazy because. I had been a really big Three Six Mafia fan since like 2000, yeah. And it was one of the first times uh, I saw their show. It was in '09. They did a show in Anaheim, and at that time, uh, Three Six Mafia was just DJ Paul and Juicy J. It's just them two, the OG producers. So they did the show. I'm with my homie uh, Reno and shit, and then we drive uh, back to our crib in Hollywood uh, at the time, and uh, one of my homies there randomly we're chilling and he's like hey uh boo gangsta boo is gonna come by if, if that's cool i'm like what the fuck, fuck you talking about <laughs> gangsta boo like i just saw the three six show what are you talking about <laughs> and he's like yeah uh and then he hands me the phone my homie and it's boo on the phone he's like yeah how do i get i get on the 101 south what do i what do i exit i'm like oh <laughs> shit boo what the fuck you know i'm like damn man hell yeah good to meet you yeah, yeah uh exit hollywood yeah see you soon <laughs> so uh boo pulls up yeah, we just meet at the mobile station downstairs. I, I go down with the homie because she was going to pick up a bag. It yeah. was like late night. She was like on, lit, just on one. Uh, she was, anyway, solo in this like convertible ride. And uh, I had rolled her a uh, strawberry Swisher blunt and, and got her some, some Shake Junt stickers. And Shake Junt's one of the skate companies we, we work for. Oh, yeah. and it, it's inspired by Memphis in, in the original song, Shake Junt and all that. So when I pulled up, and met her, one of the first things she said, she's like, Shake Chunt, what you know about Shake Chunt? You know, I was like, hey, I know you were Shake Chunt. You know, you yeah. need this, hey, to have a sticker, is a blunt. Like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and that was just a brief little, like, uh, first, encounter encounter with Boop. First little introduction. Yeah, exactly. But it's cool. I knew she was on a mission or whatever, but it, it was like years later, like 2013, I seen that she had moved to L.A. finally from Memphis. And I reached back out through Instagram. I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but yeah, I wanted to lace you, get some more Shake Junt uh, shirts and stuff. And we met up, and she was just like such a good homie, like yeah. from the beginning, just so like welcoming and just hyped. Yeah. And uh, she was just so hyped to, uh, to meet us and, and be uh, like the homies with the, the skateboard community yeah. at the local bars and everything. All the skaters showing her so much love. And yeah, it probably surprised her to know that, like, the skate community was, like, running with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. as an artist, you don't really know until you see it. Yep. You know what I mean? And that was probably, you know, one of the times she got to actually see this community is into, you know, the things that she was doing. And that's, like, that feels, that always feels good. That don't ever feel bad. Hell yeah, like I said, like 3-6, that's some shit you want to bump when you're going skating and shit, and some of our videos we put out, we, we use some 3-6 songs, and kids were just, like, just being put on, and just like me, you probably wanted to buy all the albums and all that shit, um, so there's a lot of love for her, of course. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, yeah, hyped to have known her. 